We're told that up to 90 something percent of the entire DNA code, the genetic code, is junk, is meaningless, is evolutionary leftovers right. from the past. Right, that's what they would say. The reason they say that is because it doesn't code for protein. So they think, well, if it doesn't code for a protein, then is it really important? And, and it falls into different categories. There's, they actually have different types of junk. So just like, I guess like you have different types of garbage. You have um, non-coding RNAs, repetitive sequences, and pseudogenes. That's just a couple of the different categories. Okay. And as we said, like th if this is a pie chart of our entire human genome, our entire DNA, that tiny little green sliver there is the protein coding genes. Wow. Okay, the genes, that, that's the 2%. Okay. Right, so if you, it's kind of, I think, easier to visualize that way. The other 90 percent that's considered junk. The biggest group that has studied this is called ENCODE, um, which stands for Encyclopedia of DNA Elements. They just looked at 1%, okay, 1% of the junk. And what they found was that it's actually transcribed in RNA. And when I showed that first original picture, normally you go DNA, RNA, proteins, okay? This goes DNA, RNA, and stops, and right? it doesn't go uh, to proteins. Okay. So what's it doing? Well, it's what we're trying to figure out. It's doing something as RNA. Uh, um, and, and we've got it, we're you know, just doing something even as DNA. It has function in and of itself. It doesn't have to go on and become a protein, so to speak. It's doing something. And so people were shocked, huh. literally shocked by this. Um, they said we are now seeing the majority of the rest of the genome as active to some extent. Really? It's, again, it totally goes against evolutionary ideas, yes. right? This can't be true. Um, Francis Collins, the head, of the, the head of the NHGRI at that point, said there's a lot more going on than we thought. Yeah. And the current scientific director said, the take-home message is, oh my gosh, this is really complicated. <laughs> <I love laughs> Which that is comment. probably my yeah. favorite comment. <laughs> well, of course it's really complicated. So the more that we, you know, if you think about it, that 2% has to be highly regulated. Right? You've got to have a lot of the quote-unquote junk um, to regulate that 2% in all the cells in the body under all conditions. I mean, that, you've got to have a, a major regulatory mechanism in, in place, and, and that's not going to come about by random chance. So in 2012, they studied the remaining 99%, and they found that 80% they termed as being functional because it had specific biochemical activity. Um, things were binding to it. Um, it was producing something that then went on to become active. Uh, it, and it's, it's something about it is saying, hey, this is an active piece of DNA. It's not just junk. So first they were looking for just pieces of DNA that encoded for proteins or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And they noticed that only a few percentage. Right. And then they said, well, let's look at another percent of what the junk is. Right. And then they said, well, it's doing something. Mm -hmm. And then they're looking at the other 99, oh, the rest the of 99 the percent yeah. of the junk. <laughs> yeah. And they're saying that over 80 percent. Over 80 percent. And that's just the figure now. Yeah, that's the figure Wait now. Wait a few yeah. years. Yeah. That's my actually guess. is doing something significant. And I love what one of the ENCODE researchers, he said, he said almost every nucleotide, every base is associated with a function. Wow. Well, of course it is. <laughs> I mean, we wouldn't expect God to create us with 98% junk. And even the lead coordinator said it's likely that 80% we'll go to 100%. Okay. I mean, he believes, no, it's not to say that we don't have mutations or things that aren't functional anymore because of the fall, but this is clearly designed. This is not disorder. This is not what you would expect from evolution.